welcome to Tax TV. Uh, just a, an update from me from Tax TV uh, about yesterday's game against Preston. Where do we start? Uh, it looks like formation has gone back to free at back. Been tinkering about before free free, but it looked like well free at back again starting off positively for like. 15 minutes, 20 minutes for staff. It crossed bar and then, yet again, it just seemed to be the same old story kind of thing where we seem to run out of steam, run out of ideas as such, like we're passing, basic passing. Um, Preston, obviously, under a new gaffer, Ryan Law, art to impress and, you know, Unfortunately, unfortunately for Barnsley, fortunately for Preston, it it, it did, uh, did come to fruition for him. Um, again, it's second half, started for five, ten minutes, and again, just sent to Peter out, just sent to Peter out. Uh, yeah, Woodrow got a, got a goal, which was good to see. Uh, Confidence-wise, hoping it, like, you know, getting something to kick-start it and move it on, but I think even a draw yesterday, even a draw for us yesterday, just, I think it is still something like a defeat. Uh, not picking up at all when you look at other results as well, what we're happening. It's getting to stage like now where we've got some end, end of, uh, to end of this year running. We've got West Brom, Stoke and Blackburn. And I did do a poll a bit earlier on uh, on on YouTube, seeing where the bats, you know, what what possibility could we pick up nine points from there? Nine points out of a five or not at all. And worrying thing, what worrying trend was, is that it was like, I think it was 94% when I checked, but we can't see gain out at all. And that's worrying because there's already a gap, even before we get to, you know, to bottom three with Peterborough, but you've got like a gap then just to get out. So you're having to win games now just to be, Outlight level. Uh, performance wise, I was going to go through ratings, uh, players, and that uh, some people might have seen on uh, what we're going to be doing later on. Uh, I appreciate when people, because uh, I've set up a Telegram uh, chat, live chat, and we've got people from uh, other worlds, ones from uh, Canada. They've uh, joined up and they appreciate content and stuff that we're doing. But as for, you know, Player ratings and that. I think Carl Morris said another good game. Callie Woodrow, uh, scoring goals, so possibly gets man at match. Apart from that, you, you're looking at you know averages, av av average, average ratings really six, six and a half at best, seven. And people will say, oh, yeah, but you've got to look at... But if you look at throughout game, you can't like... You know, we might have a good 10, 15 minutes at the beginning for staff. Confidence, it's going to be confidence. Big, big, massive thing. Um, like I said, we're coming up against West Brom. I've just got a feeling there that more it's going to be ever blinder in a game. And that. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but our things are going at the minute. We are going to be doing a live tomorrow, seven o'clock, me and Luke Goddard. Uh, it's going to be a Q&A session, but me and Luke are going to be on talking about a few things in general. Uh, don't want to go too much into stuff from that, like, because I don't want to get, uh, you know, talk too much in depth on content and stuff from that, that but this will just basically, you know, a review, a reaction after the game yesterday. You're just trying to pick positive start in it, you know. We, we we always seem to start well, and you know, at first half and after that, we just seem to run out of steam kind of thing. We've got young players on pitch. Some some basic, basic passes. You're looking at passes and um, out of times I've rewatched it again. I've rewatched it again. And out of times that you know, dark channels was getting caught out, but their free kick. Absolutely. Uh, sorry, not free kick, the uh, corner that they had. So, so that's straight from training ground that and our slow we to react but it was you know it was a good good tactic good move 
we were slow to react and you know everybody's looking for crossing box just roll it across come out ending it for, you know love as you mark come out ending every whack every blast to it and this is what we should be doing we, we, we just like overthinking things over complicating things just have a show and I said this uh, earlier I said this earlier about the um, Huddersfield game just have a shot when you're inside boxing, but we're always looking for the you know the, the final pass, the final pass, and well, I'd I'd rather you have a shot and it either just go wide or keeper saves it or keeper fumbles it and there's a chance then for a right follow up. But we're not even doing that. We're trying too nicely passing about when we get it final third when it's critical. I'd rather someone get a shot away, even you know a style of a bit and just have a, have a long shot. It kind of either go in, it kind of take a deflection, it, you know. But when we get there, it's like hesitation, we're rather overthinking, over complicating things. It, you know, you compare it to like last season, and did we ever achieve? Yeah, maybe. Did we, you know, I'm not going too much back into that because obviously this video took up weight. We look at the recruitment side, do we invest in certain areas that we did? No. But then again, shot, do we send any favours with players we were playing out of position? But then, what we're going to say about Paya? Playing a, a door up front again, but it, it just baffles me. You've got someone like Devante Cole, you know, but for some reason, we've got a door up front. Yeah, and people say play there for leads and this. Sort of, I, I'd, I'd see him out on left, me. I see him out on left. I don't see him as, a, as an attacking option, attacking threat. You know, I'd rather have Devante Cole up there, a Zacker up there. So people like, Blame shop under some of his selections and his choices, but in the same respect, it's, it Poy can't be immune to it if you know what I mean. Because Poy is like played a door up front, just like what shop did, and that's not been mentioned. So, you know, we he's had some games like now, nah, um, still learning, and you know, I, I, so what are we playing? Are we playing with 4 3 3 or are we playing with three at the back and four? And for, it just seems to be like now we're going back to three at back rather than four at back, which when you look under Poye, he prefers to play four at back, but we're playing three. I've just done, I, I don't think he even know players or structure out like that. Against Huddersfield, we looked like we had a bit of a purpose, we had a bit of a week, you know. But against Preston yesterday, when I watched it and I re watched it, it's like we've gone back into his old way of style thinking mentality wise. And I, I, I were hoping that it, it, we could take it on a bit more, a bit, you know, not just look out for first 10 or 15 minutes and then look for another that. And I know when we're playing away from home, it's not going to be always full on. I get that. I totally get that. But I still want that, you know, togetherness to, 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 uh, to take it and be a lot fitter, a lot stronger. You're looking for like last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe. And it just looks like we're, we're on back foot, we're waiting for stuff, you know, slow to react. Um, and then you look at on bench options, you know, Adebayo came on and stuff like that. Adebayo played, had a good game against Sheffield United, and after that, he doesn't seem to have been involved in featuring you know. I just, I just, I don't know. It's confusing, it's frustrating. Uh, and people say, I'm not using E word, I'm not using E word. But I think we can clearly see now we do need someone on VO who's got slightly older players, should I say. Football knowledge, just and not it's not just to help lads out on the pitch, it's in the background, yeah, on the training, gaining the uh, a lot of man management going off last season, you know, yeah, such as your Civics, uh, your Andersons, and it's not just through your, your uh, and Matt James. And it's not just through uh, Val, uh, Big Val. You had your Saul Bowers and your Matt James. Your DK came in from America. Although he were young, he had experience, you know, and he came in and he hit ground running. Your Matt James, yeah, he might be an X amount of thousands of pounds. But I thought him coming in, let Alex Mowat express him better. And, and you look for over here, you've got your Saul Bauer. You mow it in your DK, that's like your spine, your team. You've got someone experienced. I've said it, and I 
I've got someone via we we know how who can read and understand the game, helping the younger players out around him. Yeah, and this is what we're needing. The worrying thing is, is that apparently players have already been identified or, you know, whatever they want to use the words, picked out or, you know, what we're going to be going for. And I were hoping that Boy had been coming in, having some kind of input in it. For me, I know we use all this database system and, you know, and analysis and analytics and this other. We'll get back to a good old system of scouting as well. Get back to a good old system of scouting. You're not telling me that there's no players out there what can get scouted and picked up from. And if you didn't see it, I, I did a, a, a video a couple of weeks ago like now on about a certain player from Lincoln City. Yeah, is that under analytics or is it? Get some scouts out there. Get some scouts out there. We could be missing out on untapped talent out there, but we're too busy looking at these data analysis. And people will be saying, oh, yeah, there's other clubs do this and all this sort of a... Yeah, but they might have a director of football in charge for stuff like that, but they'll still be using this data system kind of system what they're using. But I still, I still think we need scouts out there to be going around and looking. Maybe they are, maybe they're not, but it doesn't seem to be for the last few years we've been using that, we've been using this system. We players have been identified on this system. Bit around on that, I don't get got on back to Preston. So yeah, Preston. Uh they did what we had to do. Always in our place to go Preston. I don't think there's much what we can say, what we've already either been read about or heard about on social media and stuff like that. It's just going to be trying to pick your sins up, dust your sins down for the West Brom game. Uh, it's going to be interesting because I think it's led to believe we're going to possibly want to be for clubs, this new restriction with Plan B and all that kind of stuff. So whether that happens, more comes out and thing, I don't know, in news of that, I don't know. But like I said, me and Luke are going to be doing a live, so if you find out, I'll make some notes and do all that kind of stuff and get, you know, fill your all in. Again, appreciate all likes, comments. I don't think I've said that. Likes, comments, uh, notification, share it, all that normal stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, just a quick video on my send just to go over that. Uh, Ryan Lowe got a result. I know they're down near the end of Not down, down, but, you know, obviously a win factor for them at home. Got them going. We had a couple of draws and some losses like now under Poya. So next three games, we need to be sat against something from him. We need to start getting three points. Out less than three points. It's just going to be hard, hard new year. Uh, January transfer one is going to be important, not only for the players or possible players coming in, but also possible players moving out of Rotwell, even loan or permanent, who knows. Um, it's just trying to get some confidence and we, in fact, have no better confidence boost than a, a win or two or three or four. But I think you know what I mean with that. Um, so, yeah, it's just uh, back to training ground. Work out, work out a plan, work out a formula for West Brom. Again, they had a win yesterday. So they're going to be coming because they're knocking on the door. You know, they're in third spot. So they're knocking on the door for automatic. So they're going to be coming here for a win, obviously. So so are we are going to be on, you know, TV. It's going to be under under the lights as well. Um, so, yeah, leave your comments and likes. I appreciate it. Leave your comments below. Um, I will answer. I do read them. I do read them all. I will answer. Uh, tell me what you think at, at game. Did you gut at game? Let me know. Um, you know, how were your journey and all that kind of stuff? Let me know. Will you be going to a West Brom game? Will you be going to away games after you met journeys, you know, to Peterborough, Preston, uh, Fulham as well? Long trek down. Appreciate it all. So, yeah, leave your comments below. Um, I will get back to you. Just one thing left to say.
Jurec.